Hey everyone, let's better know our crew. In these short segments, we will talk to our crew members and find out a little bit more about them. Let's start with Mission. Hey there, what can I do for you? I want to know a little more about you, Mission. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? Uh, how did you and Zalbar, Zalbar hook up? Big Z's my family, you know? My parents, well, I, I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Mm. Go on. Anyway. I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, leave him alone, you core slimes, and charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. <laughs> You're lucky he didn't fry you with a blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. Oh, wow. Did Zalbar kill him? Are you kidding? Big Z ain't like that. He's just a big old softy inside. Of course, the Volkers didn't know that. The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was gonna rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. I keep telling Zalbar to brush those choppers of his, but he never <laughs> listens. Just stay up wind when he's speaking and you'll be fine. Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? How did you guys end up on Taurus? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashyyyk. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not Aww. what he was. Me and Zalbar like to live in the present. Like animals. Well, no, uh, that came out wrong. I was, I was referring to Caesar Milan, the, the dog whisperer. You said dogs live in the present. Okay, never mind. Uh, how did you survive before you met Zalbar? Hey, what's that supposed to mean? You think I can't take no, care no, of myself? No, I didn't. I've got street smarts. I know how to get by on my own. Didn't mean in like fact, that. I look out for Zalbar more than he looks out for me, you know? Big Z is a little bit too gullible to make it alone on the mean streets of the lower city. We should get back. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother. Fast talk and brother. slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right Brought now. Brought him up. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Okay. Hi, Zalbar. How you doing? <coughs> Is there something you want? I want to know a little bit more about you, Zalbar. I will honor my life debt, but I don't feel we should say more than that. Mission may say more, but I may not. You don't trust me? It's nothing personal, but I just don't feel like you could understand anything about me. The ways my people are outsiders to know, you'll have to be content with that. You'll have to tell me more eventually. That may be, but not today. Okay. Well, we'll talk later. Very well. I guess he really is a strong silent type. Hey, Cars. Yes, what's on your mind? You wanna talk? Oh, you wanna argue some more, is that it? I'm always up for a good fight. <laughs> Can't say I've ever met a woman quite like you before. You're really something. I just don't trust easily. And for good reasons, which are my own. But we have to work to gather Karth, so it has plenty to do with me. Oh, damn it. I suppose I won't get any rest until I talk, will I? You want to know why I don't trust anyone? Fine. Here goes. Five years ago, the Jedi had just finished the war with the Mandalorians. Revan and Malak were heroes. 
I was damn proud to have served in their fleet. It was completely unexpected when they turned on us, invading the Republic while we were still weak. Nobody knew what to think, least of all me. Our heroes had become brutal, conquering Sith, and we were all but helpless before them. I mean, think about it. If you can't even trust the best of the Jedi, who can you trust? What do I have to do with Malak and Revan? It's not that. It's... That's not what I mean. There were, there were others. Good, solid, trusted men who joined them. Malak and Revan and the Sith deserve to die for what they've done. But the ones who fled the Republic and joined them are even worse. The dark side has nothing to do with why they joined with the Sith. They deserve no mercy. I have... Oh, you say that with such hatred. I know. I'm... And I should apologize to you. I've, I've become so accustomed to expecting the worst in others, and you've done nothing to deserve that. It's just... No, oh, never mind. Let's just continue with what we were doing. I'd rather not talk about it. Alright, that was our first segment of Better Know Our Crew. We shall better know them at a later date. See you next time.